I am saying that we pray to the geezer, as you put it, but because that is what draws us closer to him. Or is it not what you've been told to do? And, and it is, no, well, I mean, we are obviously told to do that, but what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with being told to do the right thing. Did you tell your children to do the right thing? Yeah, fair enough. So that means that we accept that there are things that are real that are outside of the according, purview according, of science. Agreed? According to the, according to the club, Alan, the you, the, the creator, yeah. created the universe in a dream. We are just a dream. Do you believe that? All of these things have to be so finely tuned that if any of them was out by the smallest degree, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Yeah, so, so, um, hydrogen form. Yes, or, exactly. Oh, this is so, so, so that's examples. finely tuned. On this question, I, I agree with Galileo Galilei, yeah, who said, please. who said, science tells us how the heavens go. Yes. The Bible tells us how to go to heaven. Okay. Because if you're saying that there is a language translatable in the universe, then yes. that means that there is a mind behind the language. Oh, go on, explain how you can have a language without a mind. Okay. Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so. Now, don't you think that the um the, the Dow team were actually doing more damage to Islam than anybody else at the moment, like right? with, with Ali Dow and um, Mohammed Ijab? I mean, did you hear him like say to the guy talking about the uh, holes in the narrative? Yeah. And he went, we shouldn't be talking about it. Yeah, yeah. And then he suddenly went out, came out with it. But like, he just, he just screwed you. I mean, I mean, Yasakadi, Yasakadi, yeah, 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 yeah. Yasakadi made an absolute gaff. Yeah. That, yeah. That, that, that Christians have managed to capitalize on yeah, a lot. Yeah. I know you're talking about but, but hold on one brother, hold on one brother. Like, I, I, would, I would advise Christians not to be on in... That, that side of it. Not, not, not to be in bed with people like apostate prophet. Apostate yeah. prophet... He's, but he's apostate Christian, prophet. Is he? He's not a Christian. Right. And the thing is, apostate an prophet atheist. is an atheist. Yeah. And, and we yeah. Christians... Shouldn't like, be, shouldn't be the, apost yeah. We Christians, we can make alliances with, with what we call people of goodwill. Yeah, yeah, so they are people that are willing to side with the church. Right, right. Yeah. Right? And for you very talk about masculine um, Christianity. Muscular Christianity, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not Christian, I'm, I'm an atheist myself. Right, and, and, and what I would say to you, bro, is atheism is failing our society. Atheism, really? that really? atheism is what gives rise philosophically to relativism, and relativism is what gives rise to multiculturalism. Right, you're talking about, well, losing identity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. See, for me, like, say, 15, 20 years ago, I was thinking religion was going to go. Yeah. It was going to disappear. Yeah. Christianity was dying. Yeah. You know, if you look at the um, demographic in this country, so I think about 7% people um, say that they're Christians. Yeah. Uh, the about 10% go to yes. church at least yeah, once a yeah, month, according yeah, to exactly. Pew Research. So there's not many uh, people who are um, following the, the, um, the mantra, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, it is, it's, it's a hard thing to um, push on people. And then Islam comes along. Yeah. They're strong, man. They right. really believe. Yeah, well, and they've got on, a family, they've got, they, they, they got a community. And this is the thing, that there, there, there are perception problems amongst the critiquers of Islam. Yeah, 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 let yeah, let me explain true. what I mean. Right, we think that Muslims are strong and Christians are weak. I, let me finish. I guarantee that the percentage of strong believers of Christians is exactly the same as strong believers as Muslims. Yeah. The difference is that Christians are spread out across the entire country, whereas Muslims are consolidated yeah, right, right. into single yeah, geographical been, areas. Been done though, isn't it? it has been done deliberately. I mean, because at the end of the day, they want to replace the demographics. And, right? and, and the thing is, the thing is, classical people that are on the political right, like yourself, who are maybe opponents yeah. of Islam, right? Not opponents. No, well, yeah, right, right, opponents of Islam. Not yeah. opponents of Muslims, opponents of Islam. Yeah. I'm not, don't, don't buy into all that Islamophobia confusion yeah. of categories. But people like you aren't thinking straight about the issue, right? Let me explain. No, you're really not. Let me explain. You're really not thinking straight. Because the Benedict option, which is a Christian idea of communities consolidating into geographical spaces, is the best approach to the fact that Muslims have already consolidated into geographical spaces. That's the thing I, was talking, I talk about a lot. Yeah. The one thing atheists haven't got is the, ch the place to go, the church, yeah. or the community. Yeah. Right. I'd say the best um, life for humanity would be like, say, uh, what do you call them? Not, um, not Mormons, the other right? The guys who ride have got no electricity. Now. Yeah. That would be the best thing for humanity, for the, for the earth. That's the way to live. But people ain't going to go for that. Right? Well, let's let me. Let, 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 let's not let, let's not jump around issues. Let's focus on this issue, because I know that there's a lot of people like you who watch our channel 
yeah, do. Right, do. right, exactly. Yeah. And I want to speak to people like I you. That, I, I would disagree when, when you were talking to the atheists and you turned around to the uh, Africans when they had more to do with your um, heritage. I don't. I disagree with that. We're, this is um, an Anglo-Saxon country. Yeah? We are um, pagans. It's a pagan country. Right. So let, let me reply Which, to this. Let, let this, me reply to this. You know, you talk about um, Christianity being like uh, the um, foundation. Is got, yeah, it is. Maybe. It is. Yeah, but it was a lot of it was because of, um, I'll say, um, against Christianity that forced the country to be. You know, there was a lot of tyranny. Let me 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 because you've just raised a number of different yeah, things. Yeah. So let me address them because I want to address people like you, atheists, conservatives yeah. who are opposed to Islam, yeah. and, I, and yeah. I want people like you to hear what I'm saying. Yeah. Firstly. And please let me finish all my points. Yeah, yeah, there are only a few and I can get through them quicker if we interrupt less. Yeah. So the first one is, right, atheism does not give you the ideological framework with which to successfully oppose Islam. The reason why it oh, doesn't, yeah, yeah, I, I, the, the reason why it doesn't is because athe atheism is a simple denial of something else. It doesn't actually stand for anything. It's just the denial of another idea, right? When we are opposing Islam, let me finish, let me finish, I ask you to let me finish. When we're opposing Islam, we need to stand for something, not just against something. And, and Christianity gives us that thing to stand in favour of, gives us a foundation to build on a different vision of society, the one that will be politically, economically, socially and culturally strong. No, that. That, let me finish, let me finish, so that it will suffocate Islamification. The reason why there was no Islamification in Western Europe is because Christians were strong enough in the past to ensure that it never gained prominence. There were large. Okay, okay you're right. right? But, but was, was that not a good time? Was that a good time for everybody? That, that, that was only the first point. The second point which addresses this point that you're raising, yeah. is that Christianity should be judged on how far or close Christians are to Islamic teaching. You can obviously point, sorry, Christian teaching. Well, you can obviously yeah. point, you can obviously point to lots of bad examples of Christians. Yeah, yeah. Christians oh, yeah, who- well, I'm not judging right. by the people. Exactly, so what you've got to do is, when you see something that like Christians did in the past, you have to ask, does that resonate with Christ's hold teachings? On, hold on. The te teachings might have been that way, but sometimes you have to do it, you have to um, put it upon the people in a different way in order to get that point. And in them days, well, yeah. People, people were worthless, weren't they? And I think that lots and lots of people like yourself... Done wrongly. I think lots of people like yourself are not rejecting Christianity. I think lots of people like yourself are rejecting the insipid, weak church of today. Yeah. Right. 100%. And I'm saying, bro, that what it you... Is weak. Exactly. And I'm saying to you, you need to sidestep that issue because you're missing the point. I'm not calling you to follow a weak, insipid church. I'm calling you to follow Jesus Christ. Yeah, as that. your Lord and Saviour. Yeah, who, 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 who do you think <laughs> Jesus Christ is? Well, yeah, you've met Sartre Garvey, right? He yeah. believes in energy. Yeah. I'm very similar. Right. I think everything is energy. But who I do you think... It. Have you read this? Who do you think Jesus Christ is? Well, I'd say he was, um, if, I, if he was anybody, Sorry? he was a... Um, some kind of preacher, um, didn't do any miracles, don't believe in that. Yeah. Um, obviously he had philosopher, I don't know, I don't know, there's so many stories. Maybe there was maybe more than one person around Jerusalem or that area at the time. But one man having all that, it's a bit, um, it's a bit fable-ish, it's a bit, right. it's a bit I, like I, I, I wanna, stories. I, I want to I wanna challenge you by saying to you that there's no basis upon which we can deny the idea of miracles. Let me explain why. Let me explain why. Yeah. Right? Because, right, when people say there's no such thing as miracles, what they're asking for is scientific evidence. Right? And scientific evidence... That sci well, no, hold on. But this misunderstands what a miracle is. A scientific evidence is the idea that you can reproduce and, and falsify a theory or an experiment. Yeah. Right. Physics. But the very definition of a miracle Physics. is it's supernatural, that is it's above right. the natural world, which means that is it outside of the investigation of science. 
So you can't... Who witnesses this news? Ah, but here's the second point. Here's the second yeah. point. Yeah. So when Francis Bacon was talking about one of the key categories of our, our scientific worldview and the construction of the scientific worldview, he said that many smaller examples of evidence build up to a conclusion. Miraculous events are commonly testified to across the entire world and they are commonly testified to in every age. So at some point, you've got to recognize that there are lots of people who are bearing witness to the idea of miracles. The fact you can't test it in a lab doesn't mean it didn't happen. This resurrection of Jesus. This kind of... This has all been in ancient um, yeah. uh, philosophy, ancient books, Egyptian, Egypt, Mesopotamia, gods that people have been born of virgins, people have been born resurrected. Yeah. It's a bit. And then it happens in a small part of the world, in in Jerusalem, where. Yeah. Right. Right. So, it doesn't make sense. So, so you say it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. But here's why I think it does make sense. Okay? The, 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 that, that part of the world is the juncture between Asia, yeah, Africa, and Europe. I suppose there was um, Alexandria, which everyone was... Yeah, yeah Alexandria. So, but that, but that part of the world, if you're going to diffuse something into the whole of humanity, mm. then that's the part of the world that you do it in, in yeah, a time you, before yeah, mass right, communication. That's true. There was a lot of people gathering there from all, all over the world. It was, it was the, the central Chinese, hub. But the Chinese were more, you got were the thousands of years advanced. Yeah, but, but, but what's that got to do with but the issue of truth? Why the fucking Chinese? Because China's over there uh, in the corner of the world. Yeah, they, had, they, had, they had serious technology. But, so? They, could, they, could have, they, could have tra they were travelling through by, by boat yeah, across the world. Let, let, let me, let me address this point. Continents. Because I think that our technology is advanced, but no, I no, think... But it's only, no, let me finish, bro. You haven't even heard what I've got to say. I think that, that, that you place too much value on technological advancement and not enough value, not enough value on moral education. In Western culture, in Western culture, we think that because we can do a thing, we should do a thing, and so we push the boundaries of technology ever hey, outwards. That's, that's technology but the reality, boy, but the reality is, the reality is, morally, we are going backwards in the West. Really right. Just recently, this year, they've tried to legalize infanticide in America. Yeah, killing right. a little baby yeah. outside yeah, of the room. Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. Also, they got on there, they got suicide proofs. Oh, Brilliant. Sorry. Thank you. Peace with you, bro. Nothing to do with God, though, is it? All right, one second. It's one second. To do God. The idea of the yeah. spiritual side yeah. is metaphysics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not scientific. No, that's true, yeah. Right. Well, you can't put a fucking finger on it, can you? Brilliant. You Great, we're agreed. Yeah, so enough. that means that we accept that there are things that are real that are outside of the according, purview according of science. To, agreed? According to, the, according to the Kabbalin, the Yul, the, the creator, yeah. created the universe in a dream. We are just a dream. Do you believe that? No, but it's pretty close to... Um, what you do what, believe? No, no, no. It's pretty close to what other people like, the God thing. Yeah, I'm I not... Mean, I'm not I mean, in, I did it in the day. Yeah. This is all everyone's opinion. Whether you believe in science, whether you believe in philosophy, or whether you believe in religion. Yeah. Right. Where, where do you fall between? What is, where's the um, cut-off point between each well, one? But I think, so, so allow, me, allow, me, allow, me, allow me to reply to that. So I believe that the closer you are to Jesus and his teachings, the closer you are to the truth. Yeah, but you've got to know who Jesus is. You've got exactly. To know, right, so if you don't understand... You couldn't have said it better. If you don't understand who that um, person is, or who that being is, yep. or that thing is, yep. then you're wasting... Right, you're wasting your time. I, I totally agree with you. Right, so we are completely agreed. So right, so so now follow the a, logic. It takes a long time to find out what that is. Right, hold on one second. Very difficult. I, I, no, so allow me to reply to that. Yes, no. Because I believe that yes, the journey takes a lifetime to no, let, let, to work it out what it means to your life to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. That is something you work out, let me finish. That is, that is something that you work out over the course of a lifetime. But working out who Jesus is simply takes, simply takes a weekend of very serious study of the Gospels. That's all it takes. A very serious, written by, um, written by Matthew, Mark, yeah, yeah, Luke and John. Disciples. Yeah, written by the, Apo uh, the, Apo the disciples. But they weren't there when he, was, he, he died before they, well, they, some of them weren't even there when he was alive. Right, right so, so, John, I think, was, so no, he? John was there. Yeah, John was there, yeah. John was there, John's Matthew the was there. John's the only reliable one, isn't he? No, no, they're all reliable. They're all reliable. 
the, the by thing is, standards. Well, but, but this is the point. That's a really good question. Yeah. By whose standards? Exactly. That's a really good question. But you listen, see, if you talk to any, But the point is, you're, the point is you're assuming yeah. that the standards of the atheists are the ones to go no, by. I'm not. I'm not. And I'm saying I'm to you, not. I'm saying to I you. I don't believe, I don't think anybody should believe in my philosophy because I, I, I'm, I'm still trying to work it out myself. As much as I believe in science yeah. and, and miracles, uh, beyond physical, and I would say that it would improve your philosophy no end to include more of Jesus's teaching. Well, I could do that. Well, do it. <laughs> I could do, that. do we agree do that your yeah, philosophy right. would be improved I'm, by well, including I can't, I can't, Jesus's teaching? I can't, I can't agree with that. Wait, well, let me let me finish. I can't bro. agree with that because I don't know what. Have you got a Bible, bro? Can I give you one? Have you got one at home? Have you got one at home? Right, I'd like to well, give what you one. What do you want me to read? Because I'm not. I'm going to give you one to read. Don't worry. Right. You can read this, bro, in less than a weekend. You could read it in a single day. Is this the Gospels? I'm going to give you a Gospel. All right, I can do that. Right. Bear with us one second. Right. No. Fact. That one. Um, I'm, I'm kind of like, I would be 90% on your side. Yeah. If, if I believed in um, God. Yeah. Obviously, I don't, so I'm only like that 10%. Either. Okay, bro. <laughs> So, no, but yeah, you're right about. I mean, this place is nuts. Isn't it? it can be. Yeah. It certainly can I'm be. I've a big argument with him. You don't believe in evolution, do you? Uh, no, I do. Oh, you do. Good. Yeah. Good. I'm not right. against evolution. Right, yeah. I mean, they all go, oh, start life, but that's the abiogenesis. Yeah. It's completely um, separate. No, the thing is, the thing is, the Christian faith and science don't contradict no, one another. No, I don't know. Well, most um, science was... Um, Born out of a Christian worldview. Yeah, so I'm often... Well, yeah. well, I'm well, baffled. Well, alchemy is chemistry. Yeah. So, um, but, but the, the, astrology. But, but, but the modern the modern scientific age was born out of a Christian of worldview. It was. Well, most of, like, most of the modern um, uh, theses on, yeah. on science are done by Christians. On this question, I, I agree with Galileo Galilei, yeah, who said, please. who said, science tells us how the heavens go, yes. the Bible tells us how to go to heaven. Yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. how I suggest yeah, you read but it. it. But that's how it should be separated. Yeah. Yeah. So how good's your eyesight? What? How good is that? Can you read that? Yeah. yeah. Right. So well, here's a here's a copy of his. Yeah. Science oh God, and philosophy. So no, no, it's his uh, gift. It's his gift. Thank Give you. it back to him. You can read it. And also, this is also That's about sick. atheism. So no, I don't need that. I, I want to give it to you. It's my <laughs> gift to you, bro. It's my gift to you. You don't want it. Okay. No, 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 so have a read of that. And here's my challenge to you. Go on in. Right. And here's my challenge to all of you as well. Yeah. Uh, here's my challenge to you and all of you who are watching this. Right. Your philosophy will be greatly improved by learning, by about, learning about Jesus and okay. drawing closer to him. I'll give it a go. And like, next time I come. And then if you've got any questions, write them down and come and talk to me. Yeah, he's got um, Romans here. Yeah. yeah? Have a read of the... You've got the Psalms in there, you've got the Gospels in there. Yeah, Have I'll a read of it. I mean, I'm reading this at the moment. Yeah, the um, Yeah. This is quite good. What's that? The Kabbalah. It's an older yeah. philosophy than... Uh, it's Mesopotamian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it talks about the all, the creator. Yeah. I, mean, I don't believe in that. It does talk about energy as well, so... Well, I mean... Close. The thing is, the thing is, like... I've never yet met the atheist that can explain to me how, how nothing can beget nothing. Well, this is the thing, according to the, um, well, yeah, did the, is the universe eternal or is it... Of course it's not eternal. Well, how do we know that? Right, I don't know that. So, no... The, you're, never, you're saying that you couldn't get to this point now, that's, that's the argument. If it was eternal, we would never have got to this point. Exactly, because you would have gone an infinite number of points to get to this point, so how well, do you ever get here? Have to be, this point would have to be part of that um, journey, wouldn't it? This is only a, this is only, um, a small part of um, a journey of the universe. Yeah, but you Is there only one universe? Who who knows? But, the, but there's a, do you know why they come up with the idea of the multiverse? Because of um, quantum theory? No. No, but that's, that's, that is where you get the multiverse. No, from. no, no, that's, you're thinking of string theory. No, 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 it's multi, that's um, quantum the theory. The multiverse comes from string theory, not quantum theory. No, it's quantum. part of quantum theory. It's it, to do it, with shadows. No, you can no, see no. the multiverse through let, shadows. Let, let, let me explain to you why they came up with the idea of the multiverse. When they look at the universe, they find that everything in the universe Fine is so finely tuned. It's not though, is it? It? No, let me finish. It's, not though, it's so finely tuned that if these dials were set yeah, yeah. in any other way, that we wouldn't be here to talk yeah, about that's it. That's the fine tuning in the universe. Right. The, but the fine tuning, it though. is really no, finely tuned. Like it really that. is. No, it is. Go and look at. Go and look at. Yeah, it's at, what, 0.75 of the uh, to, uh, to uh, 10. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. incredibly finely tuned. 
that in yeah, terms of the gravi this way, didn't it? in because terms of gravitational yeah. force, in terms yeah, of electronic a... force, in terms of magnetic force, in arm. terms of all of these things have to be so finely tuned that if any of them was out by the smallest degree, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Yeah, so so um, hydrogen would form. Or, yes, or, exactly. Yeah, this is just so, sort of strong force so that's force. finely tuned. Yeah, yeah it's finish. How how would you define but, that something is finely tuned? How would you define it? Like you say, if it was if it was to move us a, a degree, yes, it, right, right. But so everywhere, finely, no, hold on a second. Everywhere that physicists look, yeah, everywhere at every force, yeah, but this is, they find fine tuning, and that is why they came is, up yeah, with the multiverse. Shall yeah, I explain? But this, but this is did, but this is why this is their interpretation of, of what we're seeing. This is man's way of looking at you. We create models, right? No, it's uh, mathematics. Yeah, I know. We're yeah, mathematics. We create models from mathematics. That is the language of the universe. Thank you. What's right. a language? It is a man. It is a, it's a constructed. Um, what do call it? So it's something that comes from a mind, right? Yeah. Right. Think what you've just said. Yeah, there is a language in the universe. Yeah, but it's only us interpreting. So, so it's only us interpreting. Yeah, we're interpreting. As, as we're beings. interpreting a language yeah. written but into the say, universe. Say there was another um, species of um, being out there. They'd probably interpret it slightly differently. They might use different numbers or different would, ways uh, of counting, with, yeah, yeah, exactly. but they would still use mathematics. Yeah, they would. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So that means that the the language is there in the universe, apart from the observer. Because the observer yeah, would translate only, it into yeah. their translation of maths. That's true. Right, now think what think of logically think. Because if you're saying that there is a language translatable in the universe, then that means that there is a mind behind the language. Go on, explain how you can have a language without a mind. Well you can't have a language without a mind. But, no, Brilliant. Yeah, but, but, yeah, but is but. mathematics a language? Only to us. No. Only, only, yeah, only well, we're the only know. observer that we know that uses maps. Exactly, yeah. Right. But, yeah, but is it, are we... Like I said to you, there could be other creatures who, who observe the universe differently. Still in the universe. They would still use mathematics. Not necessarily. Yes, they would. No, because... Because how would they measure? How would they measure? Well, yeah, obviously they need to... Um, mathematics. Well, yeah, but like I say, they're using a different form of map or, or different um, measurement. Brother, this distance yes, between us, yeah, right? Yeah, no, no, no. no. This distance yeah, between us, right, is a mathematical distance. Well, it's measurable, yeah. It's a measurable distance, yeah, yeah. which means that, now was the distance, let's say that me and you were stood here eternally for the yeah, sake yeah. of argument, would that mean that this distance is here independent of us? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that means that there is yeah, mathematics yeah. in yeah. hardwired into nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, just brilliant. Right. Now yeah, think. We can you have right. can you have maths without a mind? We can't have our maths without our mind. Can you ha can you have math can you have a language without a mind? Yeah, but, but that's, not, that's not to say that the, um, our interpretation of the mathematics of the universe was put there. You're literally by a fighting mind. your own no, logic. Not. You're not fighting be, your own logic, bro. If there was a mind, if there was a mind in the universe that created the universe. Yeah. Right. He's not, he's not putting there so specifically for you or me to discover. Right. right. The distance between the Earth and the At Sun. At the end of the day, the way um, chemicals work in the universe, they, they fall into... Um, they follow laws. They follow, yeah, follow physical laws. Yeah, physical laws. So we've got mathematics and laws. Well, the physical laws um, set up the mathematics, really, don't they? Uh, the, f the, the, the physical laws are described by the mathematics. Yeah. Right. Or describing the mathematics. Exactly. Or describing the mathematics, which yeah. means that there's a synonym between the physical laws yeah, and the is. mathematics. Yeah, yeah, you're right. right. Um, now, here's the thing, bro. You're, you're fighting your own logic. Not really. I'm just encouraging you yeah, to, to follow your own logic. Because you agree, and I agree, that you can't have a language without a mind. Me and you both agree, yeah. me and you both agree that there is a language written into the universe that is there independent of whether we observe it or not. Yeah, yeah, so I'm human good. beings have been on this planet, oh, human beings mind. have been on this planet for maybe 10,000 years, right? Maybe 50,000, 100,000, fine, 100, whatever number. 100, 100, but the earth was Actually, here, but the earth was here for five, millions of years, five, billions five, of years. So that means that the earth was operating to a law before an observer, agreed? But that law is a language. That law, that, that the physical um, parameters were still there, yes. Yes. Correct. Now that means but, that the that means that the language yeah, was there up, before our observation. But they were set up before the Earth existed. I agree. Right. They were set up at the beginning of the Big Bang. I agree. Once they, uh, that happened, 
thermodynamics took over. The Bible says, the Bible says, I am the Lord thy creator, I have created all things by my power alone, I have stretched out the heavens. You say it was God. Right. Yeah, fair enough. I'm saying to you, say bro, that. I'm saying to you, bro, that if you recognize that there is a language written into the universe, then you can recognize that there is a mind behind the language. Well, like I said and you, that mind well, like I we you, call God. Well, like I say, that's our, um, like I say, that's our interpretation of the universe. We, we look at it, it's a language. Well, it does if look we're, like it. It's a language. <laughs> You're not like getting that. away with it. It, does look it like is that. a language yeah. and it is written into the universe. Yeah, and a uni and a language can't always... exist without a mind. Yeah, Stop yeah. fighting the truth, bro. You can feel it. I, I know oh, you're feeling it right oh, now. I've got the idea that it could be a creator, right? Right. But one that gives a crap about us and, and the fact that you yeah. might pray to it. Yeah. That's, that, that's, that's a bit weird, right? Okay. So let me reply to that. Yeah, go on. It's a fair point, right? Why do why do I believe? That, that, that God actually bothers to care. Yeah, yeah, well, okay. yeah, that's a good one. Right, <laughs> so when a Christian, the, uh, the, the, the answer to every Christian for a Christian yeah. starts with Jesus, right? We believe as Christians that God, unlike the Islamic God who sits on his throne and never ever enters into creation and just sends he, messengers. He, he, he put his hand in well, this is the contradiction and in their, arms, yeah, this is their contradiction but, in their religion. But our religion believes that God loved the world so much that he deigned to enter into that creation as Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the Father, whom we call the Son of God, yeah? So Christ demonstrates the love of God in this, that he suffers in our place on the cross. That's how he demonstrates his love. I don't get the fact that there is, you know, vast universes, right? Yeah. It's massive, yeah? Yes. It's not like, we only a tiny speck. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we are kind of, people are kind of, there's intelligence here. Yeah. Well, not a lot of it, but it's... Yeah, <laughs> it's I mean, you struggle busy. to find it in Speaker's it's, Corner, but yeah, it, yeah it's, it's around. Yeah, they're trying to find, everyone's trying to find a way... It's in definitely what? in London, right. not necessarily it's, in Hyde Park. See, I think like um, pantheism, maybe. Yeah. You know, like the, um, the church founders and all yeah. that. Yeah. Right. He created the universe. He created the universe. He, he created every all physical, um, um, all physics. Yeah. Well, like, again, why? It's not me, mate. It's because Benny. It's, it's a great question. Allow me to answer that question. It's because God, who is love, has an abundance of love, and out of that love, He created us to participate in that love. Yeah, I don't get that. It says in the scriptures. It says in the scriptures. It says, "Do you love your wife?" I'm, 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 all right, okay. Yeah, I did, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. I love my right. kids. Yeah. I love my kids. Yeah. Would you say that your children are the creation of the love that you felt towards your wife? That closeness? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, about five minutes. And, 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 and. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You slay me. You slay me. That was a good one. Right? Okay. Okay. Well, it lasted. Uh, all right. Yeah, good, good job. So, so, my point to you is, bro. You're made in the image of God and the creation of your yeah, children, okay, let me finish, yeah, on. one point at a time bro, one point <laughs> at a time. Your love for your wife led directly to the creation of your children. Yeah, but I right, the love, let me answer the first question bro before you jump on to the next one. The love of God is of such infinite abundance that he creates us because of it. Because yeah, he because wants us to participate. It doesn't answer because of why we're praying to the geezer. No, no, okay. Even though say, say, right, say, so let me answer say, that question. I don't want my kids coming to me every day going, thank you, Dad. Right. Thank you. Let me, no, hold on, one second, one second. No, no, no. What, let, let's just be clear about what prayer is. John Christosom, a church father, describes prayer as the lifting of one's mind and heart to God. Right, that's, right, the, the accurate English use of the word prayer means simply supplication. But, but do you agree, as a father of children, that when they came to you and they said, Daddy, please, that you felt love for them and you felt love by them, and that actually they're asking you for something, they're coming to you and yeah, needing but I can, but I can you. Do something about no, what? Yeah, exactly. Now, yeah. my point to you is that prayer is the way that we draw closer to God. It's how we enter into that relationship. I think you're doing something for yourself. Definitely better. does something for us. Feeling better for yourself. I, I, know, I agree that that's part of the picture. That's not yeah. the complete picture, I don't though. I see there's nothing wrong with that. But the point is, you're saying you're, what you're doing is you're excluding God from that picture. 
I am, yeah. Yeah, and I'm saying that the, 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 you asked me why do we pray to the yeah, geezer? Yeah. That was your words. Yeah, yeah. I am answering that question. Fair enough, fair enough. I am saying that we pray to the geezer, as you put it, but because that is what draws us closer to him. Or is it not what you've been told to do? And, and it is, no, well, I mean, we are obviously told to do that, but what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with being told to do the right thing. Did you tell your children to do the right thing? Is there anything wrong with telling people to do the right thing? I don't think there's nothing wrong with doing it, okay. but, but it's not actually solving anything, is it? It's not, it's not um, or maybe in your mind, it's making you feel better about yeah. maybe the situation. Yeah. Because a lot of people go to uh, turn to God when they're feeling like they're like, Islam. Yeah. They have to be really fucking at the lowest. To, yeah. To, to, to in prison. That. All those yeah, prison yeah. Muslims. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. So that's that's one way of um, looking at it. Bullied into Islam because you're too wimpy to stand up yeah, to it. Yeah, but that's one way of looking at it. But, but that doesn't really uh, say, that doesn't give you the reason for doing it. Right. Hold on one second. There, there should be a reason behind stuff. No. Hold on. Let, let, let me address that point. Because actually I did give you the reason. Yeah, but, for but, the love. But because love that it be, he loves us and we draw closer to him in love. But let me, let me address something right. that I think your point is getting to that, yeah. which is that lots of Christians, and I would join you in criticizing them, yeah. think whenever there's a problem, all they need to do is pray about it. And I join you in saying to those Christians, you're wrong. Prayer fixes you, yeah. you fix the world. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Right, and that, so, so that's my and Christianity. Yeah, that's that's the Christianity I'm calling well, I you to. I, I think I, I agree with your side, that way of thinking. You know? Yeah. Because, yeah, like, like I said to you, we do, you do need it, not me. But you need a, a more masculine Christianity. We do. We need to, I think a crusade would be good. I, I would Personally. say, I would say that, that that you need Christianity, because the thing is, if you oppose Islam just because you, no, no, let me finish. Yeah, go on. Sorry. <laughs> if you oppose Islam just because you hate Islam, when your hatred is all burned up, because there's a lot of people that do this on Soko films, when your hatred of Islam is all, and there's a lot of people who do this in the EDL, when your hatred of Islam is all burned up, all you're going to have left in your world is Islam. Oh, yeah, yeah. You've yeah. got to oppose Islam, not by hating it, but by loving something better than Islam. Well, and the rather, thing that I'd is better than Islam is Christianity. I'd definitely rather that. Right. As, as this country was more Christian. Christian. And I'm saying I'd join join with those Christians, I'd learn more about thing. Jesus, well, integrate this, more of his teachings into your life. I'll because we'll have another chat. Yeah, definitely. Um, What's your name? Dave. Dave. Pray for Dave. Pray Keep for him me. in your prayers. Don't pray for me, but yeah. yeah. Brother, for you, you can pray brother for me. There's, been a number of, there's been a number of people yeah. who, like you, have become Christians in this part. Oh, I understand that. I don't think it's going to work for me, but yeah. I don't think so. I, I think it could be transformative exactly. to your life. I mean, I'm, I'm looking into it at the moment with that um, philosophy, mainly philosophy. Yeah. I'm just trying to work out why people... I don't care. It's like, oh, you're always arguing with um, Muslims and Christians. I don't care what people believe. Yeah. I have no care whatsoever. I just want to know why they believe it. Right, I think that would be more I think that what you represent there is a very common attitude in our culture and I yeah. think it's a wrong attitude. I think yeah. you should care about what people <laughs> believe. And if people believe evil Oh yeah, no, I do like I making do Christians second class citizens, no, you should oppose it. it. I do, I do. Great. Yeah. So I we should care about, about what people believe. Forty thousand um, terrorist attacks. Since nine yeah. eleven. Yes. Yeah. Like, Two, uh, two churches in France desecrated a day. Yeah. A day. Yeah. And we've and, got to stand up to and, it. And it's like nothing's done about it. And then what's happening in Greece as well? It's there, a are, there, are, there, there are 2,000 two churches desecrated yeah. in Greece. Yeah. Hatun Tash. Yes. Yeah, uh, attempted tech. murder he here. Stab her in the eye. Yeah, no. We, no, he tried yeah. to kill her, bro. Let's well, he call it what it is. Neck and eye. He tried right. to kill her. Where, where was the guy? Why, why is it? Yeah, where, exactly. If I, if I had exactly. a knife and I stabbed a um, Muslim right now, I reckon I'd be nicked within a minute. Yeah. So they'd be all over me. They'd be on me. He managed to walk from here, down there. And, and the police just did nothing. Yeah. They sort of stuck their siren on and then, and then drove as slowly as they could the guy after who him. He was, was here, he was a cop here, he used yeah. to do this. And basically when they're praying, everyone's going, listen mate, aren't there enough moss? Can, can they not, they're not supposed to pray it. Oh no, there's nothing you can do. But actually, it's written in the friggin' book. But the thing is, bro, the it's thing is, the bro, book, the, part book. the thing is, bro, we have no basis to oppose any of that without Christianity. That's true. Yeah, no, I totally agree with you. All right. 100% agree with you. You have a read of that we need, book. We need Christianity. We do. To, and and brother, I, I say with no shame, you need Jesus. No <laughs> shame, you need I know, Jesus. I don't know about that, but I'll give it a go. <laughs> yeah. All right, have a read. Come back to me it's, with any questions. It's Steve, man. Uh, probably. He comes most Sundays. 
So have um, a look for him. So I don't come in anymore, does he? Yeah, but they, they did have Osman warnings against him. Okay, and why? Because he criticised Islam in Britain. Yeah, it's like, um, what's his name, Tan. I mean, Tan got a bit out of order. Tan but was a... Tan wasn't stable. No, 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 but he was, when he was like... Yeah, but... When he was shouting like... But how I desperate, got, no, how desperate are we for heroes if we're making people like Tan a hero? Yeah, I know. He's I know, he's not a hero. He was I mentally and emotionally <laughs> unstable. And yeah, but then you got, you got, as soon as Tommy Robinson comes down there, you got all this, all this shit that goes down there. You know I, mean? I mean, they're persecuting the Tommy Robinson. Yeah, but he's not a racist. I know he isn't, but he's being persecuted by the yeah, state. Yeah, yeah, and the reason why they're persecuting him is because they're making an example of him. Well, they, because he had the, ta he had the balls. He was trying to hide the rape of they, children. They, yeah, they, he had the balls to catch the, the liberals out oh, yeah. on, on their complicit, systematic rape of children yeah. by Muslim kind of grooming gangs. And he had the balls to challenge the liberal state on their narratives about yeah, like Islam. Yeah. And, and for that now, they're just persecuting him, yeah. even though he's long stopped being any kind of threat to anyone. And it's yeah, disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. I'm for the, um, getting first, I All right, maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Uh, and Marie, so. uh, anyway, okay. God bless you, bro. Cheers, Have a read of that book. Yeah, you take care. Okay, yeah, how are we doing?